Hey, this is Scott, and I want to take a look side by side of the face detection autofocus during video for the Canon 5D Mark IV and the Panasonic G7. Canon uses the dual pixel autofocus, while Panasonic uses a contrast based autofocus. Everyone knows that the dual pixel autofocus from Canon works really, really great, but the Panasonic is much, much cheaper, and at least in video, it holds its own really, really well. So I'll do a few different tests with a more distracting background behind me now, as well as a simple plain white wall and I'll put them side by side. I won't tell you which is which until the end, so that way you can make a decision for yourself about which one is better or if they're both good enough for you. So now testing camera A on this simple white background, you can see as I stand here stationary, or relatively stationary, hopefully it maintains a steady focus without hunting back and forth. And as I'm talking now, hopefully you should see that. Now testing how quickly and how accurately and smoothly it regains focus after something comes in front of the subject. You can see now, hopefully as it focuses on this, and hopefully focuses back to my face. Testing the tracking, as I walk away from the camera, it should maintain a accurate and smooth focus. And as I walk back towards the camera, hopefully you see the same thing. Try once more, walking away from the camera, and walking back towards the camera. All right, so we're testing now on camera B with a simple plain white background. And you should be able to see now how well it maintains a steady focus without hunting on a stationary subject. So now this is to test how fast and how smoothly it can regain focus after something comes in front of your subject. If I put this in front of my face, hopefully it will smoothly and accurately regain focus after it moves away. So now to test how well and how smoothly it can track a moving subject, I'm walking away and back to the camera and hopefully it can maintain a steady and accurate focus on my face as I move back and forth. So now we're taking a look at camera A again with a more distracting background, and hopefully again, it's maintaining a steady focus on me as I stand here stationary. Checking how it regains focus, I'll put this in front of my face again, and as I move it away, hopefully it snaps back to my face accurately and quickly, and just trying once more, and hopefully back to my face. So now testing the tracking as I walk away from the camera, and as I walk back towards the camera, hopefully it's maintaining a smooth focus. We'll see how it looks. Walking away from the camera, and then walking back towards the camera. So now we're testing camera B with the more distracting background behind me, and I'm standing still, so hopefully you should see a smooth, consistent autofocus that doesn't show any sign of hunting, which is just an obvious sign that I'm using autofocus in the video. Checking how it performs when there's something that comes in front of the subject, Hopefully it should snap focus back to my face really quickly, smoothly, and accurately after I move this away. As I move away from the camera, it should hopefully track me smoothly and accurately, and the same as I move back towards the camera. We'll do that once more. I'll move away from the camera, and back towards the camera. So before I say which is which, let me know in the comments what you thought of how they both performed, which was better, if they were about the same, or if you prefer one over the other. So now I will say that camera A was the Panasonic G7, and camera B was the Canon 5D Mark IV. Now I do think that the Canon performs better when using autofocus during video, but the Panasonic also has focus peaking, which makes it much easier to use manual focus. It also has a screen which flips out much like the Canon 80D, which makes it easier to take video of yourself, or even some weird angles when you're taking videos of products or whatnot. You can see what you're recording very easily when you're using that flip out screen. So I think that both of these cameras are very great for video for very different reasons. Let me know in the comments below if you have experience using either one or some other camera and what you think of it and how it compares to these. So as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this and want to see more videos in the future.